Welcome back to Clever You. I'm your host, well, your Professor Carrier, and this week we're going to learn everything you need to know about the amazing Spider-Man, starting with the lizard. Get out your notepads and let's get started. Dr. Curtis Kurt Connors, a.k.a. The Lizard, made his first appearance in 1963 in The Amazing Spider-Man No. 6 and quickly became one of Spider-Man's most popular arch-nemesis. There have been several versions of Connors, including that of a surgeon in the U.S. Army, a Columbia University physics professor, and a geneticist working with Peter Parker's father, Richard Parker, at Oscorp Industries. No matter what the occupation, Connors has always been obsessed with one thing, and that's reptilian regeneration in order to find a way to regrow his amputated arm. Like many of Spider-Man's foes, Connors is not an evil person by nature, but becomes evil through circumstances. In Connors' case, those circumstances are the serum he creates to regrow his arm, ultimately turning him into a giant lizard. A few of the lizard's fancy attributes that make him a villain not to be reckoned with include a six and a half foot long tail that can destroy anything in its path, even concrete. He possesses superhuman strength and speed and can even go toe to toe against Spider-Man in wall climbing skills with the help of his razor sharp claws. His tough scaly skin is virtually impervious to most weapons, but if for some reason he's injured, he has the ability to heal at a rapid rate, making him invincible and nearly impossible to kill. Hey you in the back, stop texting. In addition to all those traits, the lizard also can use telepathic power that allow him to communicate and command reptiles. Most renditions of the lizard portray him as a very animalistic guy in nature with a long snout. In Mark Webb's The Amazing Spider-Man, the lizard appears more like a human-lizard hybrid with his eyes, nose, and mouth retaining much more like human features. Though The Amazing Spider-Man marks the first appearance of Lizard on the big screen, this is not the first appearance of Dr. Connors. Connors was mentioned in Sam Raimi's 2002 version of Spider-Man and appeared as Peter Parker's quantum mechanics professor in Spider-Man 2 and the person Parker goes to for advice on the symbiote in Spider-Man 3. Actor Dylan Baker played Connors in both films and would have most likely played the main villain had Raimi and his cast returned for Spider-Man 4. We'll all finally get to see the lizard battle Spider-Man on the big screen when The Amazing Spider-Man hits theaters July 3rd. Thanks so much for attending class. I hope you guys took some notes because a quiz is definitely on the way. And be sure to stay tuned on Clever Movies because our next lesson is on Spidey, the main man, hottie, Spidey. We'll see you next time.